Hi, I'm a field applications engineer for LDRA, and today I'm going to be talking about the LDRA productivity package for quality and security, and how we can use it as a solution for cybersecurity and code quality in our C and C++ projects. So why specifically are we concerned with cybersecurity when it comes to C and C++ projects? Well, it all comes down to a few very simple reasons. The first being that we have a growing target list when it comes to C and C++ being used in critical infrastructure and embedded systems. This means that there's lots of different targets for these potential cyber attacks. In C and C++, we also run the risk of having memory safety risks. And these are going to be things like buffer overflows, dangling pointers, memory leaks. These are things that make C and C++ more difficult to manage from a cybersecurity perspective. We also have dependency risks in C and C++. Often, third-party libraries are relied on, and they can contain unpatched vulnerabilities, which increases the need for cybersecurity assessments. There's also an increase in compliance requirements for cybersecurity regulation standards, such as GDPR, and these demand secure coding practices, especially for languages like C and C++, that are prone to low-level vulnerabilities. There's also a big growth in the sophistication of the attacks being posed on these C and C++ projects. Modern attacks are going to leverage advanced techniques like return-oriented programming, which specifically targets C and C++ binaries. We also have a large role in critical systems when it comes to C and C++. C and C++ is widely used in industries like automotive, aerospace, and finance, where these vulnerabilities can and have had severe safety and financial implications. So how do we address issues like this? Well, the answer is very simple, actually. The issue doesn't necessarily lie with C or C++ as a coding language, but rather with the standard that we uphold ourselves to. This is why standards like MISRA, CWE, and CERT-C exist in the first place. They aim to mitigate all of these problems before they can become problems in your code to begin with. This is also why tools like LDRA exist, so that we can help you identify these issues so that you don't have to comb through your code manually and find them yourself. Luckily for us, LDRA has a comprehensive set of tools to help you make your code better. Having all these solutions under one set of tools is mainly going to help with internally standardizing your documentation and streamlining your time to compliance with any standards you might have to comply with. And overall, this is going to save you and your company a lot of money. So let's go take a look at the LDRA productivity package for quality and security, and we can see all of its different functions. The LDRA productivity package for quality and security has over 30 different coding standards for static analysis. And if you can't find one that suits your project, there's also the ability to create a custom coding standard with any custom rules you may need for your project. Once you've selected a coding standard, we can run our static analysis and print out a code review that will look something like this. If I'd like to exclude any of these violations, I can simply right click go to Violation Exclusions, and hit Exclude Individual Violation. These violations will then show up in their own section in a code review report later on. If I want to see where any of these violations are in my source code, I just double click on them and they'll open up in a source code browser at the line of the violation. Another piece of information I can gather with the LDRA productivity package for quality and security is the quality review. This is going to test for different metrics that we have gathered based on three categories, clarity, maintainability, and testability, and tell us how good of a quality our code actually is. If you've watched some of our other videos, you'll probably think to yourself, hey, this seems an awful lot like the productivity package for static analysis. So why wouldn't I just use the static analysis productivity package? Well, to answer that question, it all boils down to the standard that we're holding our code to. In some projects, we simply need to do dynamic analysis and unit testing, and we need to gather things like code coverage. So we'll do that now with this productivity package.
With our dynamic analysis complete, I can open up a code coverage window and we can take a look at the code coverage associated with our project. It's important to note that we can also run this dynamic analysis on a host like I did here, on a simulator, or on any target you choose. The next thing we may want to do with our project is run some unit tests, and we can do that by opening up our unit testing software, tbrun. Next up, I'll create a sequence. And once I've set my sequence to white box mode, we can see that I have retained all of my coverage into this version of the tool. So now I want to run some unit tests. So I've imported a set of four test cases that all apply to this function here, add product. When I run these four test cases, I should obtain 100% statement coverage and branch decision coverage based on the inputs and expected outputs that I've put in for these unit tests. So let's run those now. With our execution complete and our unit tests passed, we can now see that we have a total coverage of 100% for both statement coverage and branch decision coverage. This is a very powerful way to use TB Run and allows you to add on coverage onto already existing coverage results. The last thing we'll take a look at is all of the reports that we've automatically generated along the way. And we can do that by opening up TB Reports. This will give us all of the reports that we've generated, including reports for code review, quality review, code coverage, and any unit tests that we may have performed. We also have presets for various different programming standards related to security, particularly MISRA, CERT-C, and CWE. We also have security presets that give us various different security reports and security models. Thanks for watching my short presentation on the LDRA productivity package for quality and security. If you have any questions, don't hesitate to reach out to us at info at LDRA.com. And don't forget to subscribe for more great videos just like this one. Thanks again, and have a nice day.